St. Ignatius of Loyola wrote lots of letters when he was Superior General of the Society of Jesus. And in one of his letters to a fellow Jesuit, he wrote the following. You seem to hold that the use of natural helps or resources for ends that are good and acceptable to the Lord is to bend the knee to bail. Rather, it would seem that the man who thinks that it is not good to make use of such helps or to employ this talent along with others has not learned well to order all things to God's glory. Basically, what he's trying to tell this fellow Jesuit is that all created things can be made holy. They can be divinized uh, for use uh, in service of God's people and God for God's greater glory. That we should not be uh, scared of natural helps and resources. A couple of years ago when I was working at, our, at one of our Jesuit high schools, we implemented this use of uh, technology school-wide. So we issued a tablet or an iPad to all of our students. And you can only imagine how that was received. Some people were thrilled about the use of the iPads and, and some uh, teachers were not. Uh, I think it was because it was new and there was uh, the fear of the unknown and this big question of how does the use of technology fit in the curriculum? And I must admit, I was one of those people who were skeptical about the use of uh, the iPads. But over time, after having attended many uh, in-service programs for teachers, I soon developed a confidence in implementing uh, the use of technology in the classroom. And in one of our um, uh, units, I had the students use their iPads to film themselves to do a role play. They were doing a role play, a skit, on how they see miracles uh, happening in their contemporary lives. So it was an application of something that they were learning in the classroom. We were studying about miracles. And I asked them to, to come up with something that, uh, that they deemed to be uh, God's loving action in their lives. And I was just totally impressed by what they came up with. Uh, it showed their creativity, their artistic expression, their ability to cooperate with others, but most importantly, how they were able to apply um, the, the things that we were learning in the classroom to their own lives, how they saw God at work and active and laboring in them, through them, and for them. And so today for our Ignatian wisdom, it's embracing natural helps and resources, uh, realizing that these can be used uh, for God's greater glory. They too can be made holy and they can be divinized so that we can use them to serve God and our neighbor. Thank you and have a good day.